the don't get mad stair climbing workout. Find yourself a staircase, make it off limit for your family members for the next 20 minutes, put some sneakers on or stay barefoot, and let's get started. As you can hear on my metronome, I'm using a beat. If you like, put some music on. We're going to start with 92 beats per minute and then pick it up a little later on, okay? Are you ready? Let's start. Step with your right leg up and down. Start getting your breathing in order. Align your body nice and tall, chin in, chest out, shoulders back, suck and tuck, that means pull in your belly button and tuck in your glutes, your butt muscles, fire them up, okay, I'm still stepping with my right leg up and down, first step, breathing, slowly get the circulatory system, to pick up the oxygen needed for that kind of moving. And we're going to start with the left leg now. Tap and left leg up and down. Some of you may have done previously a step class. That's not any different right now. And we're breathing. Just slowly get the body into some movement. Great. And don't worry, we'll get a little bit more quicker, a little faster. We're going to utilize the entire staircase, okay? Good. And we're going to start again. Now we're going to add your arms to three, and reach over your head, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Step down, tap the floor, switch legs, one, and two, and three, and four, one more time. Switch, push, pull, push, pull, reach forward, pull back, warm up your shoulder girdle, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Okay, we're going to switch with your left, left leg leading now, one, Step sideways, step sideways, and step, and step, that's it, and four, and five, there you go, sideways, sideways, yeah, arms behind your head, get more core muscles to fire that way, stabilize your body, side to side. Step backwards now. Step backwards. Still warming up. Step backwards. Nice and tall. And as you step back, engage your arms again. Reach up and down and up and down. More like diagonal. 
gonna about 92 beats per minute. As you can see, this is this is a pretty good cadence, and certainly faster than just sitting around. Yeah. Good. And knee lifts up to nice and high now. Get them a little higher than the first stairs because we're gonna perhaps add a stair here and then you need to cover two stairs at a given time so get those hip flexors to warm up and your lower abdominals and get the breathing under control and stretch lift those knees up interlock your fingers behind you Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And we're going to go right into a rocking chair. It goes up and down. So you may have a staircase. Lift the heels up. Toe heel. Toe heel. Toe heel. Toe heel. Okay? That's it. If you can, try not to hold on. If you must. Gingerly hold on, fore and back, rock your feet fore and back, good, and that is your warm-up phase, okay, lift, lift, and try to heel, uh, touch your heel, kick your butt, call them also butt kicks, there you go. Warm up those hamstrings to get them engaged. Okay, five more. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. We're going to step up and down again, okay? Good. Three. your right foot up and lift your back leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step down, switch side, and one, two, three, four, Switch again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plant your feet firmly onto the steps. Eight, nine, ten. Keep your right foot up. Switch sides, 10, 9, good posture, right? don't slouch, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, step down, place your foot, Let's 
Let's do that one more repeat. One, two, we can make bigger steps. No, I'm stepping a little further away now. Just to challenge yourself. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your right foot up. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your left foot up. And straight on that leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to try to get into the second stair. You might have to hold on. It's okay. One hand, two hands, or no hands. You stay with one spare, of course. Ten. Switch sides. If two stairs are too intense for you, modify one. Or intensify with two. Okay. Three. Four. So five more. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, come down. Hold on to the second stair. I'm going to do back steps, back lunges. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Followed by push ups. Okay? Either first, second, or third stairs. One, up, two, up, three. Make sure you lower your chest. Four, nod your head. Stretch on your toes. Eight, nine, ten. Come back up and up again. And down. And two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your arms a little higher up. So you have to work your core muscles a little harder. Five more. Try to stay with the beat. Second set of push-ups coming up right now. Ready? One more set. Four each 
above your head. Keep your arms way above your head. Step with conviction. Feel strong. Two more times. Okay. Now sit up push-ups. Like I said, you want to get further down? No problem. Go further up if it's too hard for you down here. Modify so you can do the push-up. I do two more. One. And two, okay? Come on up, stretch. Come up, get a sip of water. I'll pick up the pace a little bit. Okay, now what beat is that? Good. Yep, this is about 108. Good, 108 beats. Here we go. Jumping checks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I want you to run up and down. Back to jumping jacks. And run up and down. Back to jumping jacks. Can change directions. Keep breathing. And again, up and down. That's number four. Number five. Two more times. That's a dog. Be careful on the way down. And last time up and down. So these are nine stairs. Try to stick to the nine stairs. Okay, we keep walking. All right, go back to the back lunge, but with a little jump. Okay, looks like so. Stretch, 
three. Get ready again. Moment recovery. You can focus on what you're doing so you don't get word. Ready? That's it. Nice back stretch, back, a little handy stretch. Let's do two more sets. Last one. And shake it out. Step up and step. Hey, breathe. Get your breath. Recovery now while we're stepping. One more on your right leg. <coughs> and switch legs. Left leg leading. Left leg leading. Left leg leading. Good. Let's do four more. Straight. Two more. And step up. Two. Three. Are you feeling it? I'm starting to feel it my legs a little bit. It's starting to really to feel the work. I got a good sweat now going. Good. It's starting to feel good. We can battle that virus. Together we're gonna to stay strong. That's it. Switch sides, left leg. Yeah, it's okay if you stomp your feet a little bit. Make some noise. Feel the life. Breathe. Take deep breath into your nose, exhale out of your mouth. Of course, if you work a little harder, you won't be able to go through your nose anymore. As long as you breathe in deeply, that exhalation that will happen naturally. Good. Let's go back and do those hops again, okay? Then, then, note my arms leading the way, keeping my back straight. Step up. Breathe. That's it. Four. Don't slouch. You're aware of your body. This is a good time to really get inside your body and feel things again. 
three more. Left leg is leading now. That's it. See also how you feel with how your knees are feeling, okay? Because they are doing a lot of work. And if you feel like it's starting to ache too much and you're not used to it, just abort. Build up to to a, a higher level. We've got a lot of time here to to improve ourselves. Okay? Good. Tap. 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 And tap. All right? Now reach behind you. Quickly change feet. Left leg is leading. Tap. Right leg is leading. Left leg is leading. Tap. Right leg is leading. Tap. Left. Tap. Right. Tab left, tab right, tab left, tab right, tab left, and so forth. Good. So we're going to go into sidestepping now, okay? Looks like so. Step up, and down, and up, and down. Just very simple. Make sure you allow yourself enough room that both feet ending up on the stair, okay, and not one, only partially, okay, good, step up and down, great, that's it, now we're going to do that, changing sides just about now, okay, come down, switch sides, and up and down, it's a decent enough cadence that you quickly can turn around, it's a kind of form of agility in a way. It's quickly changing directions is a form of agility, okay? For that, you need to move your feet quickly, but let the body come along quickly with strong uh, core muscles so you don't lose balance, okay? Let's try that now one more time. Switch sides, turn up. And down. Okay? Just like so. Well, we're going to do that a few more times. After we've done this side five more times up and down. One. Two. You can use your arms. Three. Four. Five. Okay, let's go ten. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And quickly turn. Turn, 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 turn. Up. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let's add five more on this side. We haven't done that many. Two. Three, four, and five. We're going to add, stay on that side. We're going to add a leg raise and a kick. Okay, so first the leg raise. Side raise. One, tap, two, and three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to turn to the other side and do the same thing. One, two, three. Stand up nice and tall on that standing leg. Engage it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's your outer thighs. Ten. Switch one more time. One, two, Three. Try not to lean too far out there. Keep your body nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get ready for the change. Now, one, two, three, four. Eight, nine, 
and switch sides. Now, you either do the leg raises for your abductors and stretching the inner thighs, or you add a little kick to it and kick. Switch quickly and kick and kick and two. Actually, that's three and four and five. And don't worry about the numbers, they might be a little bit off. Just try to follow me, okay? Seven. Martial art, kickboxing, and three. Keep looking. And five. And six. Actually, in my olden days, I was a martial artist. Quite accomplished, I might add. How about four more? One. And two. Nice controlled kick. Three. Four, switch sides. One, get ready. One, nine, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, Yeah, the knuckles punching in the target and the kick. How about five more? One, two, three, four, and five. Good. We're going to right into a dip. So you want to sit down on the floor. All right. Place your palms and your hands on the, the bench. Press the temple not forward your fingers but back and you raise up and down. Lift. Make sure you also get the glutes up high. Yes, they are not there just to sit on. You want to keep them strong. You support your back. Good. And also squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let's do one more. Great. Let's stretch. Two. And it's a nice little stair climbing routine. I feel already a lot better. But let's do another set on those reverse push offs. Uh, similar to a dip, but a little bit more refined. Of focusing on your posture um, and all your back muscles, okay? Let's do it. One, two, engage your arms fully, soft lock, so we get those stabilizers and the elbows and shoulders to work. out. Okay, remember, this stretch is not for your neck, leaning forward with your head, and your upper back, but it's designed to feel a stretch in your lower back. So find that stretch, lower back and hamstrings, and if you don't feel it in the lower back, and the, because you have restrictions in your back of your legs, just bend your legs slightly. So then go forward a little bit more and see if you don't find that stretch in your lower back. I suggest let's do one more set, huh? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
nine and ten and back to the stretch. Remember the uh, the hardest is uh, being challenged is your knees. So uh, don't do this stair climbing workout every day. Um, for every high intensity, you should be something more moderately or easier followed on the body so it can recover in an active way. So tomorrow perhaps you want to do a walk, okay, or some yoga or a strength training routine. Um, but I wouldn't suggest that you do this every day, okay? Good. Stretch a little bit more. Bring your right leg over your left leg and just kind of hug it with both arms, like so. Stretch your hips that way. And breathe into your nose and get your breathing under control. Deeply exhale. And uh, just feel that you have had a good little workout here. Um, you focus on a body workout. There were no tools as you uh, experienced required. Remember, your mind and your body is your ultimate training devices, okay? Don't really need that much more. Um, than that. Okay? There's a little creativity. Uh, we'll get there together. Very good. Butterfly. And I'm very tight there because I run a lot so my hips are tight. But this is also good exercise to stretch your hips. Keep them flexible. That's it. And try to, again, get your breathing and keep your breathing under control. You don't want to be tense. Certainly don't want to hold your breath. You want to breathe. And remember when you hold your breath, the body tightens up and that's exactly when you want to stretch, you don't want to do. Okay? So, that concludes this workout. Hope you have a great day.